The Raman spectrometer that we have uh, built, it uh, has the uh, optical fibers, and we can shine the optical fiber directly on the sample, on the surface, on the liquid, and then... Tuan Vodin knows where to look with lasers. His research in optics and biomedical engineering has led to a long list of awards and more than 30 patents. He comes to Duke's Pratt School of Engineering as director of the Fitzpatrick Institute for Photonics. Photonics is a science that involves and deal with the interaction between light and matters. And that's what we want to use light as a platform to develop a new technologies, applications to protect the environment and to improve health. So here is a device. This device is a Raman spectroscope, a Raman spectrometer. And what we can do with that Raman spectrometer is that we can go to any surface, shine the laser in, and then we can detect what is going on. One example is that at the medical center, we can look in the blood sample certain biomarkers. Or for Homeland Defense, we can use at the airport to detect inside the sample, you know, the chemical that is, uh, could be potential hazardous. Another example is the uh, development of the biochip. On top of the chip, what we put is a bioreceptor. So you see really the integration of photonics with the CMOS chip and also the bioreceptor, which could be an antibody, it could be a DNA. And this is an example of a prototype device on the biochip here. So it can be a, a handheld device which integrates the biochip at the bottom, and then it has a laser. So when we have a samples on top of the chip, we can shine the laser and, and detect the, 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 for example, a, the, um, uh, a tumor, uh, on the, um, uh, the proteins, or we can also detect a DNA mutation that uh, can predict, let's say, possible future cancer development. It can affect also global health. For example, we have uh, undeveloped countries that have a need at the site of care in the villages, how to detect disease at the early level. And this technology can be made possible because that we can detect there, we can send, for example, with wireless uh, technology, transfer data to a central location. So it uh, could affect global health in terms of healthcare management. I think that we are going to a phase in research to solve problems at the systems level. No, we are no longer looking at single discipline one at a time to solve a problem. But the problem now are global. The problem now are multi-scale level. And at this level, we need the scientists, researchers from different fields working together. And I think Duke is a very well placed to provide that environment. So this is one important thing that I think that I hope to be here and to work very well with my colleagues. Together we can solve a problem that each of us could never dream to address in our own discipline.